Hello and welcome to We Live in a Society. This section will feature Chantal's stories, where I will tell you stories that's happened to me as I've traveled the world. It is an example of a time when I felt most alive. And I guess you kind of feel most alive when you're closest to death. So um, this is an example of a story where I could have died but didn't. Um, so it was my 18th birthday and I decided to go skydiving. And so my mum, who is absolutely terrified of heights, decided to do it with me. So I should have seen the signs that morning because it was a series of unfortunate events trying to delay me going there. Like we, the alarm didn't go off in the morning. So we were like an hour late getting ready. Then on the way, the tire, um, mum got a flat tire. We had to stop and, and fix the tire. So all these little signs that perhaps I shouldn't skydive today was, you know, it's like, what's that movie, Final Destination? You've got all these signs. So anyway, um, anyway, we made it there with seconds to spare and we, we get geared up. We go through the safety training. We get in the plane. And this was at Cessnock, it was, um, which is a, a little rural town outside of Newcastle, like farmlands um, area. So we were skydiving over the farms. So we, we go up and I'm first out of the door. So I leap out, um, mum was going to be after me um, and we're just, it was incredible. Um, so we're going down, we got about 60 seconds, 60, 70 seconds of free fall um, before we pulled the chute and then we had like another six minutes or something just floating down. So anyway, we, he pulled the chute and like we've waved and we've gone up and then we start to fall again. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> so, and then we just keep falling. And then I look over and I see the chute floating away. I'm like, okay. And so obviously our first chute had malfunctioned, he had released it, and now we were trying desperately to, or he was trying desperately to deploy the emergency chute. And so um, at this time, so then, so at that point, the cameraman, because we'd, we'd had a cameraman, he stopped recording us and just started recording the ground because like he didn't want to obviously like video our death or anything like that. So he stopped videoing straight away and we kept falling and my instructor, was desperately trying to deploy this chute and at this point mum's gone past <laughs> and, so, and she's landed and she's landed but she hasn't realized the the situation that's developing above her head she was just so exhausted and scared when she got to the bottom and she didn't realize even though she jumped second why I wasn't yet on the ground and she actually just collapsed in an ant's nest and just from fear I think and so then anyway he managed to deploy the emergency parachute and we slowed down and it was fine but the emergency parachute's much smaller than the the big parachute and it's red and white and so that's like so that's sort of like oh you know there's been some kind of this is the emergency parachute and so as we're coming down we could just see all these ambulances coming towards us because um because we deployed it so late and it was so small we hit the ground pretty hard but it was fine um and yeah so and then mum I told mum what had happened and she hadn't realized she'd actually yeah, the, the ants because she'd collapsed in the ants nest so many ants had bitten her that she got really sick and she had to have a week off work after that um so yeah poor mum but thanks for coming skydiving with me mum even though you were scared of heights um yeah and then the guy just um thanked me for remaining calm and not panicking and i got a free t-shirt <laughs> and uh, yeah so that's one of the moments that i felt most alive 